Deer 10, 10, 28 a.m. The group have been awake for 21 minutes. Most of the housemates are in the bedroom. Yesterday, Jackie became the first person to be evicted from the Big Brother house after the public voted to save John. Jeremy, John and Bridget are in the living room. He seems a lot happier today, though, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's perked up a bit. Uh, I think he's quietly glad he wasn't the first voted out. No, no, he wanted to go. You're so wrong. They said, you so wrong. They said don't swear he was off you are so it's wrong, bastards, bastards. Yeah, it's all a bit of a show, though. No, no, no. You want to like, oh, I, don't, I don't think so. No, nah, he wanted to go. He wanted to go racing today. Did yes, he wanted. He wanted booby with Boobie's two got, copies of the racing. He was so case. happy, mate. He's like, booby has got my racing case. We're going up tomorrow morning. He nah. really reckoned. You ain't going nowhere, mate. Yeah, yeah. You're staying here with us. Yeah. yeah. Some to one. Seven to one. Seven to one. Of course you can. You have a cup. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it's so me, set me up for the day. Very well. Very well. Thank you. <sighs> and as always, you'll put the milk in last. Always. Always. always, always. Yeah, last night I slept well, but I think it's because I had a few beers, John. Yeah, it does, yeah. I think it sort of knocked me out a bit. Yeah. And, I, and the lack, and I, you know, that... And the lack of lots of other sleep. Vile woman having yeah, gone. Oh, God. Such a relief to it's me. It, I promise you it is. And it probably was a bit of mean of me to cheer like that in front of her, but I thought, well... Well, I, I, I just couldn't face it. It was my revenge for her yeah. telling me... Foul, foul creature she is. Whatever else we do, we agree on that. Ah. Oh. Absolutely impossible. Absolutely impossible. So, in also in theory, every day now until we leave, we should either be nominated yeah, or we'll evicted, yeah. which makes things a bit more. A bit more interesting. It, yeah. it just feels like things are moving on because yeah. you're either got the potential to be out that night or the next night. Well, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eleven or three a.m. Kenzie's in the shower. Lisa's helping Bridget move into the private bedroom. You know the night she was supposed to change. We all changed our sheets. She didn't bother. So those are all oh, clean. Oh, okay. You lucked out, right? God, she's. I mean, she's a dog. Man. She's just a mania. That is incredible. Caprice, Jeremy, Bez, and John are in the living room. I've got washing up to do as well. Fucking hell, we've got so much. Yeah, we've got a lot to do. These are a bit. Time is a This wonderful. is Big Brother. This week's nominations will be taking place in one hour's time. Perfect. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I've got to bed at 12 o'clock, sober as a judge and fucking fuming. <laughs> Why do you get angry, though? I don't understand. I just got angry about uh, fucking jacking and right. that situation. Right. And, uh, yeah, but you were mothering her. You, you, yeah, but you were the mothering yeah, her. Yeah, no, I weren't getting angry about the mother. I'm, I'm getting angry about uh, sleeping all the time, doing fuck all. Yeah. And uh, special treatment, you getting your fucking cola and all that, you know what I mean? I was uh, got, about, oh, I, 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 didn't go, I got special man. treatment with my cola. What are you talking fucking about? Fucking right, you did. What I would have never have given you a cola if it was up to me. Well, I fight. I fought for my rights. I fought for my rights. They're my contract. We don't want to have a um, create an atmosphere today because we've no. just got into a situation here, if yeah. you don't mind, guys. Yeah. We just and we want to get our exercises underway and. Uh... Yeah. Oh dear. Catch. Can we? Should we start? You want to start? Time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because sure. Ken's. I think he thinks we're starting, so I think he's going to take his time getting okay, ready. Okay. Cool. Eleven fifty-seven a.m. Lisa and Jeremy are in the bathroom. Kenzie, Bridget, Bez, and John are in the kitchen. This actually smells like real coffee. Lisa's is getting really stressed over nominations, isn't she? Yeah. 
Is she? Yeah, man, she's having a I think, a bad time over it. Yesterday, Caprice took part in a secret individual task and was shown a tape containing footage of the other housemates talking about her. She's in the diary room talking to Big Brother. How are all the housemates feeling now there are only seven housemates left? It's definitely better today. It's definitely, definitely, definitely better. Everyone is still a bit drained from yesterday. Um, but the energy, the morale, everything is a lot better. When, there, when there's such negative energy in the house, it's a bit draining. And um, there were a lot of insults, there were, there were a lot of dramas, and it was just a really draining day. When I saw the tape and what John had said, and I just thought it was really, really unfair, especially after knowing someone only for a week, and it was very hurtful. I, I talked to John about it in front of everyone because I don't feel, I, I don't want to talk behind somebody's back. I, I'd rather talk to them, to their face, and to get it out. And, and I did address the situation. I did address what I saw in that little room right there, what he had said about me. I addressed it, and we had it out, and, um, and it's much better now today. I feel better that I got it out. John is very quick to judge people and to insult people, yet he doesn't really look within. He just snaps at other people. He attacks other people. And I thought it was really unfair. The trick is, is that we all have to live together, and whenever there's tension, it affects everyone. So for me, I just have to kind of keep it in because I, you know, you, because I want to work together as a team. You have to 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 keep your sanity. Twelve thirty p.m. Big Brothers gather the group on the sofas, ready for nominations. Each housemate will be called to the diary room in alphabetical order and ask to nominate two housemates for eviction. The two or more housemates with the most nominations will face a public vote this week. Subsequent. Yeah, subsequent. Would Bez come to the diary room? This one as well. It's interesting that they say Lovely. your nominations cannot be influenced by any other housemates. Well, of course your nominations are influenced by the other housemates because that's how you arrive at decision. <coughs> that's how you arrive at your decision. <laughs> yeah. But they mean by Just telling you, I mean, of course they're going to be influenced. Oh, Bez, please could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Yeah, my first nomination is going to be Bridget. And the reason why I'm going to nominate her because she's only got ten cigs left. I can't stand grumpy cig smokers when they've run out of cigs and getting all mood. I, I see uh, potential trouble down the road once they've run out of cigarettes. They just become a nightmare. And I, I don't really fa fancy a nightmare in the house when you've got an addiction and you run out of the stuff you're addicted to. Then you become grumpy, moody, bad-tempered and all that, them sort of things. And uh, I just think it'd be good for the harmony of the house to, to uh, get rid of all the cig smokers. And it's good for the kids to see people not smoking. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination? Yeah, my second nomination is uh, Kenza. The reason being, he's a really cool kid, man. And I definitely see him as being a, like, a little favourite on the outside. So uh, that's why I put him up for a nomination. I'm just playing the game and, uh, and the minute to win it, because I wasn't at first, but now I've decided that I may as well try and go for it as soon as I'm here. So the best way forward is to try and get rid of the, all the firm favourites. Yeah, Bridget did the floor in here yesterday, so that's fantastic. Who's like that? It's so easy when you fall in love. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever work you out properly, Ben. I know. <laughs> exactly. You need to I'm run the right boy through the program. Yeah. This is Big Brother. Would Brigitte come yes. to the diary room? Well, I will. Hmm. The priest next. <laughs> yeah. And then it's me. Don't know the alphabet. I thought you were. I'm trying to work out the names. My first nomination goes again to John. Uh, basically, for the same uh, reasons that I said the other day, by the fact that I'll never get over how. He has been treating the, all the uh, housemates and for the insults and his way of speaking mostly against women. He said, I'm gross, I'm disgusting, I'm ugly, which is one thing, I have too many lines, change your hair, and it's probably time for him to take a good look in the mirror and take a look at himself first before he actually get, gets on to, to everybody else. My second nomination goes to Bez because Bez um, is a difficult human being. I think he's not really actually feeling very well. 
last night he really wanted to jump over the wall and get out because he couldn't handle it. He's missing his, his joints, his weed or whatever it's called. And, you know, he was just very uneasy, very uncomfortable. Yes, sir. I can booby, booby, booby <laughs> all night long. Yes, sir. I can booby. I can booby all night long. Booby's going to be worldwide when we get out of here. Worldwide, yes, baby. Yeah. Worldwide, man. Oh, well, as long as she's there with my suitcase, she's all right. <laughs> <laughs> John, Bridget, Kenzie and Bez all have one nomination each. Caprice is next to nominate. OK. My first one is um, going to be Bez. Last night, he was dying to get out of here. He was thinking about jumping the wall and going to a pub. And um, he gets like this when he drinks, right? But last night was pretty extreme. He just had enough. And so he wanted to jump the wall and to go down the road to the pub and then come back. <laughs> but the only reason why I'm nominating is because I think he, he wants to go. Now, could you give the name of your second nomination and explain yes. your reasons for this nomination? Um, my second nomination is John, again. One thing that really gets me going is if somebody feels a certain way about me, then then, then come to me and tell me and let's talk about it. But to say something behind my back, that really, that, that upsets me. And then I had to bring it up with him. I had to address this problem with him. He snuck like a little coward behind my back and he told you. If he has a problem with me or if he doesn't like something about me, then come and talk to me about it. Don't go behind my back. They, do, they told us just to wear a little crazy. top. Yeah, they're, they're, they're told. Oh, and then they there. gave us these plastic and shirts back, and a helmet. Jeremy is next to the diary room. I reckon I'm feeling the quick results now. What you, you were really fast. Okay. What is your strategy? I can't tell you. Can oh, I? God, I wish I could know. It, but it's the one where nobody can ever think it was about to happen. No, no, no. Whatever I say, I say to every, you know, everyone knows already. And that's super important. Uh, that's really important. My first nomination is Bez. I feel really bad about this because I really like Bez. Um, he was going a bit loopy last night. He was all talking about going over the wall, <laughs> going clubbing in Watford and uh, getting back in again, which I think is quite hilarious with no money. You know? I never would, if this was yesterday in the day, I never would have nominated him, but there's been a change in the last 24 hours and he's getting very tetchy and he's moaning about the food and about this and... Like today, you know, doing the shopping, me and Ken's put, uh, put all the shop, shop. It's not a big deal, but and he was just lying there, you know, watching, and he's just not bothered, and it's just like, oh, I'll just help myself to food and not contribute, you know. My second nomination is Bridget. Now, I know I said I'd never nominate Bridget. I know I said that, and that makes me a liar, which I'm not normally. Um, but... She's run out of cigarettes. Oh, my Lord. Hell hath no fury like a smoker with no fags. You know, and she's going to be snapping away. You don't want to be on the wrong side of her. You know, I like her. She's a wonderful woman. She's also a very large, you know, strong, you know. Yeah. Oh, oh Russell. Oh, oh babe, bird, he was the worst driver on earth. <laughs> you won't believe it. Bez now has three nominations. Bridget and John have two nominations each, and Kenzie has one nomination. This is Big Brother. Would John come to the diary room? Go on, John. I wonder if we're going to get a tough task now yeah, that what's your face is gone. Yeah, good point. Something a bit challenging. Yeah, yeah we'll definitely get a bit more. Not, not from under sticking around, just remember this well. Something a bit, yeah. yeah. I love it. John, John just steamed in. Oh, that was hilarious. My first nomination will be Brigitte, wrapped up in herself. Um, I call her the meringue, not to her face, I don't, but she's a meringue, and um, if she was, she'd eat herself, totally wrapped up in, in her life and in, in what she can get to eat and everything like that. Um, and, of course, she look, looks like a bit of cream on the top of her head and everything. You know, the image you have of Brigitte, some men out there might sort of fantasise and think, you know, put a black mask on her, have um, a tiny leather miniskirt with a... Uh, braces down just covering her chest and black boots and a whip and all that sort of thing, the sort of um, S&M saga and all that sort of thing. That's not Brigitte. She sleeps with her, um, her teddy bear. Well, it's cute, it's lovely, isn't it? You know, that is Brigitte. My second nomination is Jeremy. 
my problem with Jeremy is, I th is first the blandness, but then blandness wins these kind of competitions. It doesn't offend anybody. But he la I think he just lacks any depth at all. There's nothing about politics. There's nothing about sport except for playing it. So all he seems to do in life is do, do, do his filming, go to the club with his mates, and there seems to be nothing inside the man. Uh, I think very boring. Yeah, I'm going to go Mexico at the start of the year, skiing in the winter. That's winter in our look. It's spring pretty much, isn't it? Kenzie oh, is next to nominate. Right. Oh, we're almost there, we're almost there. We're you ski, all... right? Yeah. I've never snowboarded, I've never tried that. But it's I like very difficult to learn. Please, could you give the name of your first nomination and explain your reasons for this nomination? Uh, yeah, my first nomination is John. Obviously, he had his three-day silent treatment, which he says is a protest, was, was for us against Big Brother. And it just didn't come across that way. In a sense, it kind of brought the vibe down a bit because me and him did get on quite well. So it brought the vibe down, it, it did create tension and housemates, some housemates did get quite upset about this. He don't really pull his weight as much as he could. I don't do that much, but he does more, less than me. My second nomination's uh, Bez because there was a, a, quite an argument over dinner and he kind of defended Jackie and I didn't really agree with that. And he um, kind of... I had a guy, everyone, for not giving her the respect because she's older, but she was really disrespectful to everyone. And I don't, can't really think why he offended her so much because she was really rude to everyone, so everyone kind of had a right to be. He gets a little bit agitated when there's not much alcohol about or if he hasn't had enough alcohol. It's nothing personal to him, he just tends to get a bit stressed when, there's, when he hasn't had enough alcohol. That's it. Bez now has four nominations and will definitely face a public vote this week. John and Bridget have three nominations each. Jeremy and Kenzie have one. Lisa is the last housemate to nominate. <laughs> oh my God, my dream last night I put lipstick on. You didn't. Really proper girls that's lipstick on. That's a bit disturbing, on. actually. That is the, that's maybe something maybe going that's on. That's a girl's house. Yeah. It's making yeah. a change. And I just said it on TV. Yeah, hello. <laughs> First nomination is John. He's still finding it harder than most of us to uh, work as a team, I suppose. Excuse me. Uh, to work as a group. Uh, he's uh, finding it hardest to fit in most. We all kind of got our little thing going on and he's sort of still on the periphery. I mean, I've kind of had enough looking at John and his big wife fronts and John talking about boggies and... John sort of lying in bed and his wife runs with half his duvet exposed. So, yeah, I've had enough of, a, of the vision. Now it starts getting harder. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to nominate Bez. And I don't have a reason. I have more entertaining and interesting and meaningful conversations with other housemates than I do with this particular person. And he's slightly messy. Doesn't pick up after himself. He'll leave a cup and leave it. And it will stay there <laughs> until someone else picks it up. And, you know, it's not a diss to him. It's just, it's not how I live. We're in a very confined space here and therefore we all have to, for me anyway, keep it tidy because otherwise you're going to go nuts. It's that real sort of cliche of tidy environment, tidy mind and it's really appropriate here. It really is. God, I haven't had that in so long. No. Limoncello. Lisa and Caprice have received no nominations. Bez has five nominations and John has four. They'll both face a public vote this week. Done. Out of this fort. Cool, one? let's go. Okay. Let's do a bit of dry and another munch, hot tub, sauna, siesta. Boom. Let's go to the bathroom. Can I go? Go to there, baby. man. 2.36 p.m. It's been 45 minutes since the group nominated. John, Lisa, Kenzie and Jeremy are in the living room discussing who will face eviction this week. 
<laughs> now, Lisa, <laughs> that's not a farewell bouquet for me, is it? It's, it's beautiful. I don't think you'll be going anyway, mate. Oh, I wouldn't get your hopes up. No, I can't wait to oh. see tomorrow. John, I don't. John, I, I wouldn't get your hopes, don't get your hopes I'm up. Out me and the rest of the nation. I'm out tomorrow. Do not get your hopes up. I'll put yeah, a wager on that. It might not even be you nominated. It will, of course it will. Yeah, but probably. But the, two <laughs> <laughs> the two nominations are me and Bez. How do you figure that? I don't yeah, know about me, Bez. me and Bez. How do you figure that, John? Well, I think a lot of people will have s sympathy for... In, not, not here, in here, in the house, knowing what a tough time he's going through and all that sort of thing, and as I say, he wants to go, really. So I, I think... But, um, I th well, I, well, that's what I think. Well, it's I'm, I'm not saying who I... Soon, please, people. <laughs> I'm pretty up for it pretty yeah. soon. I'm not saying who, who's, who I've or anybody's nominated, but I think me and Bez are uh, not as strong as I was with Jackie and me, with certain things. But it's me and somebody, and I would, I would make Bez favourite. Oh, no. I think anyone that goes up against you is going to lose out to Oh, don't be ridiculous. John, don't oh, get right. your hopes up. Uh, quote that back to me when you're still sat here. I won't be still sat here. Monday next, morning. Next I won't be still sat here. <laughs> next Saturday, I would, yeah. I would bet a lot of money on that. I'd put a lot of money that don't get your hopes up for Sunday. Oh, That's I what I'm saying. That. Three thirty-five p.m. Lisa and Caprice are in the bedroom. Bridget and Kenzie are in the living room. When do you reckon we'll be eating next, Bridge? What's that? When do you reckon we'll next eat properly? When are we all gonna eat probably next? We're talking about five. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Bez and John are in the spa area. Jolly voting one. Because now we're just like fucking change all atmosphere. The house going soft, man. Oh, thank goodness it has. Because they broke the camaraderie. Because there was a camaraderie shit going on whilst it was soft. No, that wasn't that. That wasn't no, that. Hey, so. it's not. Don't kid yourself. They're all plotting. They're all scheming. They're all doing what they can to win. Don't kid yourself. Have a nice day. They're only being nice to you because they don't want. They know. They know you've got a vote. That's why they're even trying to be nice to me. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's got. He's still got a vote. Yeah, he's got a vote. So that's the reason. That's all they're doing is plotting and scheming, some more than others, but that's what they're doing. And rightly so, that's what the game's about. Mm -hmm. So never be taken in by their being, they only be nice to you because you've got a vote. Mm -hmm. but they couldn't care less about you. All they care about, oh, you've yeah, got a yeah, vote, yeah. and you can help get them out. Yeah, no, no, no. There's, no, there's no camaraderie uh, or anything like that, there's none of that. Oh, there's a little bit going no, on. No, there's none of that, none of that. Yeah, I don't think anybody's really got a cooking strategy, you know what I mean? They have. Oh, so? yeah, there's some real cookies out there. Caprice, Jeremy, Lisa, three definitely right in. But Kenzie hasn't, you really haven't, I haven't. There's the other one, I think the other one is now. But, but Caprice, um, Jeremy and Lisa are very, very working it all out. Thinking, planning, scheming, whole yeah. time. Everything they do when they join in the games, when they do the washing up, this, it's all part of impressing the audience that they're doing this, that, and the other. Whole thing. Six thirty eight PM. Big Brother has set the garden for today's task. The Big Brother Ghost Train. How are we feeling, team? Yeah, we're good. We're going to win this. The housemates have been provided with costumes and face paints in keeping with the task. Each housemate must navigate the train around the course blindfolded while the rest of the group shout directions. Housemates have 20 minutes in total to complete the task. Okay, I'm definitely up for a train drive. <laughs> woo -woo. <laughs> there are two bridges on the course. Each housemate must pop one balloon under each bridge using their spiked helmet. If they burst more than one balloon, a 30-second penalty will be taken from the total time the group have to complete the course. Bez is the first to board the ghost train. Forward, 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 forward,
Bez completed his lap in 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Next in the driving seat is Kenzie. He successfully completes the course with 14 minutes still on the clock. Bridget is next to drive the ghost train. The group have five minutes left. Lisa and Caprice have successfully completed the course without incurring any penalties. Jeremy is now driving the train. As he popped two balloons at once, Jeremy has incurred a 30 second penalty. John now only has three minutes and 27 seconds to complete the task. Go, oh John, go, oh John. Nice gentleman, Mr. Well done, Jeremy. Come on, Joe, it's all on you now. Like... Jeremy, he's got to put it on, but shut your door first, John. Don't panic, John. Wait, what's that? John, my advice is nice, gentleman, Mr. Jeremy. Yeah, very, very gentle. We will. Yeah, Mark, who's done? It's going to be me talking to you. You're all good. OK, you've got the blindfold on. Gentlemen. Now, tap it to the left. 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 Tap it to the right. Come on, John. Just tap it with your hand to the right. Press it to the right. I'm sorry. Is it moving anywhere? Try moving it anyway. We'll get it moving again. I'm doing my best. I'm sorry. I've got to think. John, you've, got, you've definitely got hold of the joystick, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Right. Touch it back, forward, anyway. So anyway, we're trying to try and get it moving. Anyway, I'm trying anyway. I'm trying. I can't help it. No, no John, it's John, it's, it's fine. John, oh it's fine. Can't help it. John, it's fine. It's not a problem. If it's not working, it's not moving. The bloody thing isn't moving. I can't help it. It's not moving. Okay. John, what am I doing? John, John, John. Stop it. Oh, oh. They can't. They can't. They can't. They can't. It's not moving yet, but it's working. See, by the way, I'm a problem. Yeah, that's what happens. It's not, it's the joystick isn't working. Get out. Mission control. Go, 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 John, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. Take the blindfold off his eyes. This is Big Brother. Today's task is now complete. Big Brother will check the ghost train, and if a fault is found, housemates will not fail the task. Yeah. Housemates may now return to the bedroom and are free to remove their costumes. Oh. 7.26pm. John's alone in the bedroom. Caprice and Kenzie are in the sauna. Oh my god, do you feel it? Yeah, well. Uh... <laughs> oh, 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 I felt that. Oh my god. <sighs> that is... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, there, we go. Yeah, there we go. We can Ooh. make a big crowd that we got in nearly up to 50. <sighs> Bridget and Jeremy are in the kitchen. Bez is talking to Big Brother in the diary room. And how are things in the house today following last night's eviction? Uh, well, it just seems to be a, a little undercurrent of uh, sadness going on, as some's description. I don't know what it's uh, what it is, but everybody seems a bit uh, a bit low today for some kind of reason. I don't know why. I don't. I, I think it's because they might be struggling uh, psychologically with the uh, eviction pro uh, process. I don't know why, you know what I mean? That's how people get in it, I suppose. Following today's nominations, who do you think may be up for eviction? Well, it's like a sense of John, it's a, I can't remember the sign now, it's a five, six to one on, fucking whatever it is, you know what I mean? I, I, I think everyone's got as much and as least chance as everybody else, you know what I mean? But I, I am a feeling that, like John does, I think it's possibly me and John, and that's. And I agree with John on his, uh, his, his, his forecast, because I'm forecasting the same as him. 
I just feel I just feel like I, I possibly is because uh, I've not like made no pals in there at all, like bonded with anybody in particular. You know what I mean? I'm just going my own route. If I won, I won't say, "Oh God, I don't want to win." But I don't I don't see it. I've got a chance of winning. You know what I mean? I'm up against big names. You know what I mean? Uh, better known names, better known faces. I'm just a little old me doing my little old thing, man. And that's it. Eight fifty-six p.m. All of the housemates are in the living room. Bez is cooking dinner for the group for the first time since they entered the house. He's been preparing toward in the hall for the past fifty-six minutes. Oh shit! Fuck me. That's too hot. That. Slightly. Let's put that on the top shelf a bit. I can't Should believe that. Should I just leave that. it there or put it up? Oh, I don't know what to do now. I'm going to have to put it, turn the heat back down a bit. Turn it down. There's one of them fan ovens in yeah. it. You can have it without the fan. Oh, yeah. Can you want the grill without the fan? Do you want no, just grill? No, no. That was on the grill. It was grill. Babe. Is it grill? Yes. Fucking hell. Brewing deck, man. You haven't ruined it. Okay, Look, it's what? No, it's okay. It's what? It's fucked right up, man. No, you haven't. Yes, it's yeah, fucked. That's I'm fucked now, man. Not necessarily. Yeah, it's well fucked. Not necessarily. Fucking hell. I thought you put the oven on there, Jess, man. You put the grill on. I did put it on oven. It's on grill, honeys. With the fan? It was on dot, 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 which is grill with fan. Yeah, I thought. Fucking hell. That's fucked that right out the fucking window. It's all right. It's oh, on oven best. now. Surely it can be saved. It's on oven now. See what happens, right? I fucking can't believe that shite oven, man, as well. You know what I mean? You haven't put fucking electric in there as a diva. All right, poor old bird. Trying to rule life. Yeah, but it's my iPad. No, just, just leave it. Just leave it. Yeah, yeah, just put the underneath. It comes right just down. Not turn them. Just yeah, leave it. Just see if you're cooking. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Bez, I'm sorry if I put it on wrong. It obviously was. I may as well just fucking sling the fucking hook. Come on, Bez. I know you wanted to make it nice, sweetheart. Don't worry, we'll still eat. It'll be okay, Bez. We'll still eat. It's we'll still eat. Can't you make yes. a new mix on yeah, it? The no, 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 yeah? yeah Making you better. Yeah. 9.05 p.m. All of the housemates are in the living room. Bez is making onion gravy for his toad in the hall. Right, Bridge, good? Yeah. More? No, no, I would put a little bit of milk in there, but... A bit more milk? Tell me, no, tell me. More no, milk? Maybe less dry, I don't know. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. Have you, uh, have you ever cooked for a... No, never been in the kitchen. My father never went in the kitchen, and I've never, ever... Go. This is not my place. As I said, territory. That's what it is, territory. You don't invade. Never invade the woman's territory. I'll give, I'll give you a lesson in life. Most murders, right, are what they call domestics. 75 or 80% of murders are, are family, uncles, friends, and all that kill each other. Most men are killed in the kitchen, and most women are killed in the bedroom. Right? Because women, in the kitchen, they're the territory, they're the master. The man comes and says, you haven't peeled the potatoes properly, you go and stab them the... <laughs> <laughs> like, like that. And, it, and, of course, in the bedroom, it's the woman taunting the man, oh, you can't get it up 15 times, you're useless. <laughs> so that, that's what happens. That, that, that is an absolute statistical fact. The domestics and... So don't go in the kitchen, you won't get murdered, is the answer, by your, by your wife. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. OK, guys. Right, so we're should we cut this? this? Yeah. You want to cut this? Yeah. yeah. Well, I've cut in so far, that, because there's a big one in there, right, isn't it? Should I just serve the peas on each plate, guys? Oh, right there, babe. Oh, I wish it does. Great. I like the big one. Oh, but a big one. Oh, look okay, at that. Good, Jeff. Oh, I love it. Yeah. We're not sure how many sausages there is each. There's seven of us eating sausage. Well, I'm going to take one in for now. Right, and Captain. Well done, the best, guys. Is that still in the kitchen? Top man, go, 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 top man, go, go. Well done, this looks great, Ben. Don't forget the corn well there as well. Yeah, but we'll get on the spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right. Top man, bro. Top man. 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 Top
10, 11 p.m. Big Brother's lock the group in the bedroom while the ghost train task is removed from the garden. I want to see one flow of the cuckoo's nest as well with Christian Slater. Yeah, another success story of mine. What? I'll just say another success story of mine. Well, I was in a film with him and then I got cut out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a roll. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, I had a brilliant year last year. But this year's going to be a brilliant year. This but... year's going to be a brilliant year, 100%. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't started off very well for us, has it? <laughs> this is Big Brother. God, that scared me. The results of today's task are as follows. <laughs> bothered. Big Brother has examined the ghost train and discovered that during John's lap, a fault developed there in you the ghost are. train. You're there right. you are. And consequently, John's lap is void. Thank you. Thank Therefore, you with a final total of 15 minutes and 57 seconds, housemates have passed today's way, task. Way, way. Way. As a reward for passing today's task, Big Brother is throwing the housemates an Austrian-themed beer keller party with food, costumes and a beer keg. Hello! We've got a fucking beer tap! Oh, my... <laughs> Shut up. OK, 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 OK. Oh, my God, OK. Jeremy's butt! Je ah, Jeremy's... <sighs> oh, God, I'm going to blame me if we'd fail. Thank, Thank God, God for small mercies, eh, John? Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Thank God, please, mate. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Get me God. one ready! <laughs> Get me one ready! <laughs> oh. Oh, oh lovely. Beer tap I can do with a nice pint. Oh. It's a judge to behold. Oh, I can do with a nice pint. Oh, it's splendid. Let me get me woolly on. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking result. Yes! Look, we're having a Heidi party. What Caprice, is this? that's your outfit. We're having a Heidi outfit. Oh, my Heidi God, party. we've got Kalukabas! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Only one hat? Oh, I think shit. it's a boy's oh, hat. This is totally <laughs> cool. La, and the stockings, la, 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 yes. La, 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 yes. Yes. La, 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 la. <laughs> you just want to go, Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Lederhosen. Lederhosen, is it? Oh, my God. Whack them on, mate. Just down the front. Oh. Honestly, the food I don't really like, honestly, there. Oh, sure. No, we're, no look, honestly, it's got... I'm not hungry, mate, so... No. 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 Come on, Bezel. But he's not getting dressed yet. He's having straight to the beer. <laughs> Come on, do you really think I would? Yeah, I don't want dresses, no German. I don't like them. I'm German, I promise you. I fucking hate. It's Austrian. I fucking hate the Germans, man. Ten forty eight p.m. The group have been enjoying the beer colour party for thirty three minutes. They're on their first tankard of beer. Mm, they do look after us. I have to burp. Come on, then. Let's have a burp. Let's have... Do that. Okay, wait, let me... Yeah, let's have a burp, race. I do the shittiest burp, so... Me too. They never come out really They're like... They're fluffy. They're not... They're not deep in pee. Like they should be. They're not like a truck driver's burp. Yeah, like that. I want to do like that, but louder. Yeah, it just... I can't do it. All right. Okay, ready? That was good. Oh, that was really amazing, Caprice. Come on. It's not going anywhere. What are you going for, to fill the whole thing? Yeah. Just get rid of the head. Just get rid of all that. 
Oh, I'm sold it. Cheers, mate. I got a beer drinking friend. And all you do me pity. <laughs> this is great! Jagger Jack! Jagger Jack! Jagger Jack! Jagger Jack! I feel good! Da 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 da! a.m. John's been in bed for one hour and 18 minutes. The rest of the group are in the living room. They have just finished the keg of beer. Big Brother has been playing party music into the house for the past 12 minutes. I possess some, say you're pressed When the mic goes through the rest of the microphone The eye, I'm holding Something to the little girl, you can't be stolen When we all snap Don't need to attack Come on, come on, Jenny Come on, Jenny Come on, Jenny Come on, Jenny That's mine. That's mine. I can't believe you had that pay, man. That's. I know. That was I was like... getting all. I thought we had. We've gone out. Okay. I've stopped the. I'm all right. The cake's gone. Out, man. They bought in like a. a they bought in like a. One of them little fucking. Twenty pint fucking... cake. <laughs> Not even a twenty pint cake, that man. It, these are two pints to go, right? No, no, no. I'm seriously fucked off now, man. <laughs> Getting excited like that, man. I've got her up all night. I thought I was in for a night, man. Did you? Hey. Hey. I made a, I made a career out of not being able to dance. Well, this is German. Two or nine a.m. Most of the housemates have been in bed for one hour and fifteen minutes. Bridget and Bez are the last housemates up. Can I tell you something, Bess? Go on. You're so young. You've got I'm two great young. kids. You're still a good-looking guy. You could fix yourself a little bit, you know that. Well, of course you can, but you know, being... No, I'm just telling you... Go on, go on. Can I tell you completely what I think? Oh, yeah, go on. OK. Instead of wasting money and bullshit, fix your fucking teeth, because you've got a great smile. See if it fought by that and all that. I'm bit. telling you, I'm a fucking <laughs> Danish Viking. I'm telling you how it stands. You are too hooked to a life still, even though you've got your sons and you want to do a lot of things, especially in this house, it just, it eats you up. You really want just to get dosed or whatever to just to fucking get away from the whole thing. That's why, you, since you can't do that here, yeah. you can't. You can take your bags and leave and go do it, but you can't jump over the wall and you certainly can't 
I wouldn't do that for I thought about it. Do you see you know what I'm me? saying? So last night I really wanted to go out. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. Really, no, what, do no. you realize that every now and then, like now you're talking to me and your eyes are really pretty? But sometimes your eyes get like this. Yeah, I know, I get sense, man. You have to really get with the program, I'm telling you, lovey. And that is not only your kids, this is your love life. And it all is down to you. Are you willing? Are you ready to go on? Are you ready for a new ride? It's not as colorful in your eyes, but it's brilliant. And it's much more intense than anything you've ever had if you do it right. Do you get me? I what you're saying, Bridget. Do you're a drug addict. Yeah, man. All my life since I've been a and young man. And if you could get over that step by step, you would not be running. You know what? You'll be holding on to your fucking beautiful girlfriend and look at your kids and cry a little bit, go to bed and hold on to her and say, thank God I'm still here and I didn't run. The day I give up is the day I fucking lay down and die. But and I'm you not will never give up, up so tr try and do it right. No, I don't I'll know how to... I'll never give up. Bridger, that's one thing I can play. I'll never, ever give up, man, man. No. Well... Try I've and never, help I've yourself by making certain arrangements I've with never yourself. I've considered once ever giving up, man. I'll never will, you know what I mean? I right. understand, I understand, but I, I still believe, honestly, best. there's certain things you just have to just take care of. Yeah. I don't know. Who steers, you decide. To save Bez, call 090 1 or text Bez to 84444. To save John, call 090 or 6 or text John to 84444.